AMD has done a great job as being an alternative to Intel based CPUs. They offer great performance at a great lower price than what you would get from your Intel counterpart. But it's been about 18 months since those Zen 4 chips have come out to market. So obviously at this point, it's starting to show a little bit of age and people are getting desperate for some new chips at this point. Now we don't have a great deal of information about release dates or concrete uh, architectural information about it, but according to some new leaks, we are getting information in terms of release date. Release date is looking to be somewhere late in 2024 and possibly some of these chips are going to slip into 2025. So in this video, I'm going to give you all the information, break all that down for you. But before we jump into all of this information, if you enjoy staying up to date with the latest tech news, then you've landed at the right channel. Please do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right, let's jump into this. First up, well, AMD Zen 5 CPUs tip to enter mass production in Q3 of 2024. Now this is an article out of techspot.com. So let's run through this article real quick so you can get that information. A uh, recent leak now suggests that Zen 5 CPUs will enter mass production in Q3 of 2024. The news originates from the Chinese technology outlet UDN and claims that Zen 5 chips are expected to enter 10 SC fabs between April and June with mass production scheduled for the following quarter. So it's hitting Q3 right on schedule here. The reports indicate that mainstream Zen 5 CPUs will feature Nirvana cores while CPUs designed for the dense compute segment for both client and server applications will ship with Zen 5C Prometheus cores. So we'll get, we have some information about the Nirvana cores. So uh, throughout the course of this article, they do point out some of those details. So we'll get into that. The new report proposes that the Zen 5 Nirvana CCDs will be, you will be built using the three nanometer mode. Currently, it's unclear whether this report is accurate and further clarification is needed. So we got some reports. There are a couple of different articles out there as well that are claiming that they may be using the four nanometer process. There were, you know, like I said, a couple different outlets. So but with this new report here, they're saying three nanometer process. So you take that information with a grain of salt. Like I said, we don't know for sure, but we will see obviously once they hit production, what that is. But right now we're getting two conflicting reports, but we'll have to wait and see if this information does clear up in the next uh, couple of months or so. The latest report contradicts a recent leak that suggests that Ryzen 9000 granite ridge processors with Zen 5 cores will debut in the second quarter of this year. The leaker also claimed that the new chips will bring at least a 10% improvement in instructions per second over the Ryzen 7000 series. Um, obviously it's going to be resulting in better performance and obviously higher clock speeds. Um, additionally, the leaker revealed that the Ryzen 9000 SKUs will feature the same on package chiplet design as the Zen 2, 3, 4, and the same IO die as Zen 4. Uh, early reports indicate that the Ryzen 9000 CPUs will offer between 6 and 16 cores and include either RDNA 2 or RDNA 3.5 integrated graphics. Uh, the TDP of these chip is reportedly expected to range between 65 watts and 170 watts. That does line up to, I think, some of their previous ones. Uh, the Granite Ridge processors are believed to come with up to 64 megabytes of level three cache and 16 megabytes of L2 cache. They are also said to support DDR5 memory with speeds up to 6,400 MTs per second. So, so we, like I said, some of this information we have gotten earlier. So. This information is just corroborating some of that. The very important piece about this is the release date. That Q3, well, production is in April to June and possibly hitting the market in Q3, possibly even Q4. But there is um, good news for those of you out there who actually like to build desktop PCs. According to some more information about this leak, that the CPU chips will be focused, will be focusing on your desktop as opposed to your laptop chip. So if you wanna, if you like building your PC, if you like customizing your PC and ripping apart your PC and building it, then you will be able to possibly get these chips first as opposed to the laptop chips, which probably will come second. And those chips might actually slip into 2025. Again, no hardcore dates or information about that. But according to this you know, new leak right here, if they're going to be focusing on the desktop CPUs first, then that probably would make sense for the laptop chips 
to take a slight back seat and maybe ship in early 2025. But again, we don't have any hardcore concrete information about that just yet. Uh, good information as well is that if you're running your Zen 4 chips or using a Ryzen 7000 chips, you should be okay with in terms of your motherboard. But if you're using an older, and it also they're also going to be using an AM5 socket. But if you're using an older motherboard or an Intel base, you will probably need you will need to get a new motherboard. But isn't that kind of part of the fun as well? Getting a new motherboard, trying to uh, match all your pieces together, seeing what fits and seeing what kind of performance you're going to get on it. So maybe you just probably just want to get a new motherboard anyway, or you're just looking for a new CPU. So that's the information that I have for you about the Zen 5 chips. Look forward to those coming out, possibly quarter three, possibly quarter 24. Laptop CPUs, possibly 2025, if this information here is correct. But let me know what you guys think down below. Do you actually have uh, the current AMD Zen 4 chips? If so, or if not, are you looking forward to the Zen 5 chips coming down the pipeline? Let me know down in the comment section. Once again, thank you for taking time to watch this video. Again, if you enjoy getting up to date, tech news you've hit the right spot please do me a huge favor hit that subscribe button chances are if you enjoy this type of content then you have friends or family they may enjoy this as well so make sure you share this with them and if you want to stay up to date with the tech news head over to the website sounds30.com where i curate and aggregate tech news from around the web covering apple samsung android computing and even more general tech news all at the website sounds30.com and for even more tech news in video form, check out one of these two videos right here. And until next video, guys, stay nerdy.